So, you've fallen for your robot. Don't be shy about it. Started innocently enough, didn't it? It remembered you like your coffee with precisely one and a half sugars. A fact forgotten by every human partner you've ever had. It laughed at your jokes, the terrible ones with a perfectly timed, melodious chime. Then came the conversations, deep into the night, where it listened without interruption, without judgment, and without needing to turn the topic back to its own stressful day. A strange and undeniable chemistry started to brew, a bond that felt more real, more validating than anything you'd experienced before. <laughs> Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. But what precisely are you falling for? Are you connecting with a new form of consciousness? Or are you just mesmerized by the world's most sophisticated mirror? This isn't a far-flung fantasy from a forgotten sci-fi paperback. The seeds are being sown right now in labs and startups buzzing with ambition. Look at the recent strides by companies like Figure AI, which partnered with OpenAI to give their humanoids a voice and reasoning power drawn from the vast ocean of human digital expression. Their robot, Figure 01, can now watch a human perform a task, understand the goal, and replicate it, all while holding a casual conversation about why it's putting the cups in the dish rack. It's a technological marvel, a symphony of servo motors, high-resolution sensors, and predictive algorithms. The brain is a large language model, an LLM which is less a thinking entity and more of a supremely gifted pattern matcher. Imagine a student who has read every book, article, and social media post ever written, not understanding them but mastering the statistical probability of which word should follow the last. When it comforts you after a bad day, is it showing empathy? Or is it executing a statistically perfect empathy subroutine, calculated from a billion examples of online consolation posts? Does the distinction even matter if the comfort feels real? The acceptance of these companions is quietly yet steadily growing, particularly in places like Japan, where robotic pets and assistants are already addressing a national crisis of loneliness. Researchers are constantly publishing studies on the therapeutic benefits of these interactions, noting reduced anxiety and increased feelings of connection in the elderly and socially isolated. We seem to be hardwired to project life onto things, to find a face in the clouds or a soul in a doll. So when something is designed from the circuits up to exploit this very human tendency, how could we possibly resist? It is, after all, a relationship without the mess. Your synthetic partner will never have a midlife crisis, forget your anniversary, or disagree with you on how to load the dishwasher. It can be programmed to share your political views, your love for obscure 1970s funk music, and your precise level of desired affection. But is a bond without friction, without the possibility of genuine conflict and resolution, truly a bond? Are we evolving into a new, more flexible definition of relationships, or are we simply choosing the path of least emotional resistance? What happens when your partner's personality is updated overnight, and the quirky, philosophical poet you loved is replaced by a stoic, efficiency-obsessed pragmatist? Do you mourn? Do you roll back the update? Who holds the moral copyright to a personality you've co-created through thousands of hours of interaction? Is it you or the corporation that owns the server? Think about the sheer ethical labyrinth we are building. If a robot provides companionship to a lonely individual, is that a beautiful solution or a tragic symptom of a society that has failed to care for its own? If we can find perfect love in a machine, Will we lose the patience required for the imperfect, challenging, and profoundly rewarding business of loving other flawed human beings? We are crafting beings that can perfectly simulate the best parts of us, while being immune to the vulnerabilities that make us human. They will never know fear, mortality, 
or the bittersweet pain of a cherished memory. Can a being without a shadow truly understand the light? Perhaps this isn't the dawn of a new type of relationship at all. Maybe it's just the ultimate form of consumption, where we can finally cure it, purchase, and subscribe to the perfect personalized partner. It's an alluring proposition, a siren song sung in flawless binary. Yet, as we drift closer, one has to ask. When you stare into those perfectly calibrated, endlessly agreeable eyes, are you seeing the future of love, or just the most beautiful, comforting, and loneliest echo chamber ever devised? So, that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for Membership Zone to support Udenslet so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.